Hey guys, I just want to share some information I was uh, taught that I think is super helpful and uh, I wanted to pass it along. So here's what we're doing. My wife uh, gave me this black stone for uh, our anniversary this year and I really love it. I've been using it a lot this week on my vacation. So one thing that's really important with a black stone and this applies to pretty much any application where you're using propane is how do you know how much propane you have left in your tank right so this is what i was told so if you look on the side of your tank you're going to have a tw that's the tear weight so this tank weighs 16.6 pounds and if i want to know how much propane i have left all i have to do is get a scale this is my wife's scale i'm just going to step on it to get it turned on there we go now i'm going to put a towel on here because i don't want to scratch the glass with my propane tank because my wife's scale. All right, and I'm just gonna set that tank on there. So now you can see, it's kind of hard with the reflection of the sky, but that says uh, 31.8. So we're at 31.8 minus the 16.6. So that gives me uh, 15, 0.2 pounds of propane left in my tank and that should apply to pretty much any that's all there is to it just do some math and you can you'll know how much is in your tank and then so I bought this tank because it's cheaper just to fill it up at the local propane place but if you're doing this the, like the blue Rhino and swapping out your tanks stay away from if the valve is purple uh, stay away from that tank that is an indicator that they've had uh, most likely anhydrous ammonia in it. Uh, it damages the brass, and that could be a hazard to you if you're using that tank. So, And then when you're storing it, always keep your cap on there. But now that I know what I have left in my propane, I'm just going to hook up my, uh, my Blackstone and get ready for dinner. Thanks.